So, and for my other video, we got looking at the fucking feminism bullshit, right? That's going on. I got no problem with equal rights and shit like that, equal pays and stuff. But there's no, there's no wage difference, right? There is at the end of the financial year, sure, because a lot of guys work seventy hours, either eighty hours a week. And a lot of the women, due to commitments, being the fact that they've had children, you know, only work 60 hours a week for shits and giggles. That's where the, the money gap is because you've got other commitments at home, which is fair enough. Someone's got to do it, right? I ain't complaining, right? My wife does it all the time, right? She doesn't um, work a lot. She works, you know, she works weekends and a few, a few hours a day throughout the week when the kids are in daycare or getting looked after or in kindy, you know. So, anyway, and these, these other women want to become men. Why would you? Why would you want to become a man? Do you even know what it's like to be a man? Try, try being a fucking father and the man of the house, right? So, you have what happened to me yesterday morning, right? You're about to leave for work, right? And your pet cat is underneath the ute, crying out in pain, okay? This is the cat that your four-year-old four feeds every morning or, or every afternoon, right? And the only humane thing to do, because it's too late to take it to a vet because it's had mouse bait, because it's eaten a mouse, and this is the secondary kill, right? This was the, the drama with baiting for mice and anything else, right? And so the only thing to do is to shoot it. So it's too late to go to the vet. The cat's stiff, the cat's in pain, the cat's cold, its gums are grey, it's got no colour, and it's looking at you with those eyes of pain. You can see. So the only thing you can do is go and put a bullet in its brain. Right, so then the fact that it is, it's my cat, right? It's one of our shed cats, you know. You've got to go and kill your own cat, right? And then you've got to tell your four year old that, you know, which, which is my job. It's my job. You've got to tell your four year old, don't bother feeding the cat because. It ate a bait last night and I had to shoot it, right? And then I had to bury it. You know, like it's in my wife's arms. And she's like, not another cat. You know, we've lost all of our cats due to bait, right? So, and this cat's been one of the lucky ones. It's been to the vet last time and it survived. So, you know, and she's a bit broken because we've had this, this cat from Kitty, right? So, and it was a rescue cat too, you know, that was a thing. So its mother abandoned it and its sister, the one that died previously. So anyway, so she's like in tears and she says to me, you better do this before the kids wake up. You know, this is half past six in the morning. So I do, I go put a couple of caps in the, in the head of my cat and I start digging a hole and I bury it and I tell, tell my four year old, he understands, he watches every hunting video. On, on YouTube, he watches fucking, watches me take out pigeons, he watches me shoot, you know, rats, mice, pigeons, foxes, other sick animals, you know, there's your country kids, and you're thinking, you know, that's a, it's a man's job to euthanize pets, stop. <laughs> Yeah, I know lots of women do it. Well, I know lots of women do do this sort of thing too, you know. My my stepmum especially, she used to fucking put down her own animals and stuff. And, um, you know, I've seen lots of other people do it. Unfortunately, being a male, it's a male-dominated thing, you know. Most people with firearms are male. Most people that can stand to pull the trigger on an animal and have cease the heartbeat of something, a male, 
and then you go into Ukraine, right? If anyone from 16 to 65, if you're male, you can't leave the country. You know, like the women get to go into Germany and whatever, and all the feminist fucking yeehaws get to go, oh, I'm no longer a male, I'm female now. And they get to go to Germany and live their fucking summer summer holiday in fucking Germany or fucking UK or anywhere like that. But yeah, you know, like you you could be like six, banging on the sixty five years, years of age, right? Nearly yeah, nearly due for yeah, semi retirement. But no, you have to stay and fight a fucking war because in wartime this hairy fairy gender bullshit doesn't fucking count. You know, everyone reverts back to their their assigned gender at birth they're male or female because there is only two fucking genders so um yeah why would you sign up to being a fucking male right you have to fight every fucking war you have to shoot your own fucking pets you have to be the backbone of the household and and bear the weight of supporting a family you know, I, I was talking about this with somebody else at work today and I had about five points. You know, um, and I can't remember them all. But, you know, so you, you, you're locked in. You can't leave the fucking country if you were to go into war. You know, the sole fucking provider. The sole fucking... You know, how many times growing up have you heard you wait till your dad gets home and I tell him he'll be furious with what you've done, you know? Discipline. That's the fourth one. You know, the, this whole disciplinary of children. You know, like, you miss... The other one is you miss out on all those firsts. I know my old man missed out on a lot of those firsts. And I know a lot of other... Well, my other... My mates, old mans and whatever. Some of which are older than me. They missed out on first steps. First words. Um, all that sort of shit you know first time you eat solids you know like why the fuck the other thing was we don't get the excuse of having a fucking period once a fucking month to be a cunt for a week to everybody and get away with it you know like when I walk into fucking home or work and I'm just like fucking rah 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 they look at me and go well you're just being a fucking right dead set cunt today aren't you and I'm like well I guess I fucking am because I've had enough but I don't get away with it no fucking male gets away with it you know like but and I know because I've worked with fucking plenty of women right and they'll be like on we won't say light duties, but they'll be they'll sweet talk you and be like, "Can you do all this physical stuff today?" Because, well, you know, and I'm like, "Oh yes, yeah, so it's that time of month again." Yeah, all right, no problem, whatever. And we let it all we we let it slide as men. We let it fucking slide. We give them the fucking easy road, and they fucking do their thing. You know, like there's only been a fucking two people I can think of that you would never know. You know, and the attitude you get when oh yeah hormonal yeah well fucking you know I haven't had a beer for fucking three days maybe I should be fucking hormonal I don't know so why would you fucking sign up if you were born a fucking female why the fuck would you sign up to be a male and have to if you're going to do it do the whole fucking thing seriously if you're going to be a male do, do fucking everything a male has to do don't fucking pick and choose because that's where that's why people jump up and down you know, do fucking everything. Be the sole provider. Be the sole disciplinary fucking person in the house. You know, yes, my wife disciplines fucking our children. But, you know, and they're going to get to an age too where they're going to be like, oh, so what? But then I'll walk in the door and go, hey. And they go, oh, oh, shit. Yeah, maybe we have been little bastards today. You know, maybe we should fucking pick up our toys. You know, like, yeah. So,
And that's my other YouTube violation coming up. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, there's that.